Okay, hi, my name is Zai, and I first played Quake back in 1998, so about 18 years ago now. A lot of people ask me about my thoughts on Quake Champions, so I thought I'd give some. Back in the day, we were playing Quake 2 Capture the Flag, and I still love that game. I'm now playing Quake Live and Doom, and of course, I would love a new Quake game. So time to get hyped about Quake Champions, right? Well, no, not yet. Like every other Quake player, we tend to get very religious about how the game should play. And because there are a few flavours of Quake, despite our passion for the game, we end up hating each other for the difference of opinions, or anything new. So let's go through the trailer quickly. The graphics and scenery look pretty amazing, maybe a bit more like Unreal Tournament than Quake, but that's okay, I love outdoor maps. And it seems like we're getting a blend of Quake 3, new maps, and maybe even a bit of the old Quakes. Hard to tell because the old ones were mostly giant squares with pixels on them. The weapons so far are Super Shotgun, Rocket Launcher, Railgun, Machine Gun, Lightning Gun, and some other machine gun. Meaning they're based on Quake 3, and make use of the three main aiming styles, being Sniper, so point and shoot, high damage, instant hit, slow reload. Tracking, so rapid fire with low damage and mid range. And Projectile, meaning you have to lead your targets, and it's usually an explosive. The rest of the weapons are generally a combination of those main three. Like the shotgun is actually a close range sniper weapon based on the aiming style. Because it's point and shoot, high damage, instant hit, slow reload, but it spreads, so it's no good for distance. The plasma gun is a projectile and tracking weapon, and also the hardest weapon in the game. And the lightning gun is a tracking weapon that is perfectly accurate, but only goes to mid range. The machine gun is another tracking weapon, and it has infinite range, but it sprays a bit, so it's not as accurate. You'd use the lightning gun for close to mid-range fights, and the machine gun when a player is low on health and too far away. Generally, a lot of people just use the railgun, but the safer option is the machine gun. Of course, that's only when they have, say, under 20 health. This is part of the reason why I love Quake. The weapon combinations are amazing fun. Moving on with the trailer, they show a lot of rocket jumps, even though they're super basic and boring ones. But that doesn't matter, the fact is we can rocket jump and strafe jump. So if I do play this game, I will be maintaining the name of this channel. There will be item pickups, shown here, and we have a few special abilities. This plasma weird thingy, the charge, and the dash. Now let's get to the main point of why I'm not super hyping this just yet. You have to think of the game in terms of offense and defense. Or for FPS, it's aim versus dodging ability. In Quake 2, Vanilla Quake 3, and Quake Live, we have the perfect balance. The movement speed is fast enough to get around the maps, and also have a chance at dodging someone's aim but it's also slow enough that it's still possible to aim at. Then there's strafe jumping, which is basically only an increase in speed in a straight line, so even with the extra speed, the movement is easy to predict. That means it's great for decreasing walking times, and still good to aim at. Now let's talk CPMA, Pro Mode, or Turbo. The movement originally from Quake World. There would be Quake purists out there who will say it needs this movement to be Quake, and fair enough, that's what you learned, that's what you love, okay, I get that. But from a more objective point of view, it upsets the balance. When you add in air control to the game, especially this kind, not only are you increasing the speed, you're making the dodging ability overpowered. Now it's no longer about straight lines, the movement becomes too random. So in those modes and games, defense has a huge advantage over offense. Not too big a problem in things like Jewel, but in modes where rocket jumping doesn't do soft damage, it's absolutely ridiculous. If you look at my rocket jumping, it's a similar advantage. But because there's no real air control, it's just a faster version of strafe jumping. Still a straight line, and still easy to predict. If you watch me in competition matches, I don't rocket jump around. Why? Because it's too easy for most good players to hit. I use it to get into position quickly, and not avoid people's aim. They only really show the air control movement once in this trailer, so maybe it's not going to be a big part of the game. And that's why I say we'll see, I don't actually know yet. I can live with the special abilities as long as they're not too much of a focus in the game. But if the air control is standard and they don't add a classic mode, well, maybe I can learn to love the randomness, or maybe I'll just stick with Quake Live, who knows. Otherwise the game is looking great and I can't wait to give it a try. So in short, it's still too early to call. I'm liking a lot of what I'm seeing, but not everything, but I'm still going to give it a try because it is Quake and it's been the game I've played for over half my life now. I still love it, I'm not going to stop. So for now, like this video, subscribe for more gaming videos and of course mouse reviews, and I'll catch you when they release more information on Quake Champions.